Hey everybody, Mr. Bright Guy here for the six-parter Green Star montage of You Are Mr. Gay 2 for the Nintendo Wii being played on the Nintendo Wii U. So, this is pre-recorded footage of me going through all six worlds. Well, not all six worlds, I already did the special world. But I did do... Well, yeah, I did do the special world and I'm going to go through the rest of the worlds getting all the green stars, and I'm pretty sure people don't want me to be as tedious as I can to just manually go through every single one of them like, a second time. But I will do a bit of a commentary while I'm doing this. <laughs> like, I don't know if it's gonna be like a distraction or like a... or something, but it's just something I've been wanting to talk about for a while. Like, for example, um, I had this written down, like, I was going to talk about in the last couple episodes ago about my uh, Canada Day weekends up at Bob Cajun with my sister Skylance and her friends. Like, we had such an awesome time up there. It was like, it was like the f six of us plus uh, Zoomzy's aunt or mom. I think it was his mom. Yeah, it, it was probably his mom. Um, so we were up there, or we left on Wednesday. Yeah, like I had to like leave right after work on a Wednesday. I managed to like book a day off on the Thursday so I can actually stay there for longer. As a matter of fact, like I knew I should have like stayed there a little bit longer, but but that's okay, there's always like another time. But even even so, like, we had such an amazing time. So what we did on like Wednesday nights, like... Uh, halfway there, I think we stopped at a gas station. Somewhere in Brock Road. And... Oh no, not Brock Road, Baldwin Road. And... It was actually, like, right next to that one path where it actually takes us to our childhood ranch that we grew up with when we were kids. We actually, like, passed that place on the highway. And, yeah, I, I had to mention it to my sister and uh, my girlfriend and Amanda's friends. Like, it was such an amazing place. I, I wish I could show... I wish I could show Michelle sometime. Um, but I think just after that, it's like we had that as a pit stop. And then the rest of the way, um, I've actually, this is actually the first time I've ever seen Amanda drive for the first time. And she did surprisingly well. Like the only miss, there was like one mistake she did. And like, I know she was like distracted by one thing. But she, like, I think she almost hit a sign or something, or, or, like, almost hit a curb while going, like, past the three-way intersection. And Alec called her out, and she, like, panicked for a bit, and, and then, like, she was a little bit disappointed in herself for the rest of the way. But, but still, like, she did really good, and, like... And this was recently, too, that she just got her G license, which I am really proud of her. In fact, yeah, she got a, a G license before me as well. So after that, it's like we make it and we decided to grab some pizza at this place called Godfather's. And they do make some really good pizza. And yeah, it's like up there with uh, Domino's. As a matter of fact, yeah, I remember this one time too, when I'm here, or here in Toronto. The one pizza pizza that I always go to is actually closed. It's actually like closed because that spot is actually gonna be like reconstructed for a bigger building. And I don't know if that's the case, but when I was trying to order online for pizza pizza, it could not take my address. Or it could not, not my address, it could not take this address that I'm living in. 
which is apparently stupid because it's never happened before. Even if I like create it, actually create an account, it does not work. So I was like, fuck it, I'll just have some dominoes instead. Like the sad thing is, is that the probably the one difference between Domino's and Pizza Pizza, Domino's does not make any fries. And I love the Pizza Pizza's fries so much. But yeah, um, so we had some Godfather's Pizza and after that, I think the rest of the night, I think right now it was just, or at that Wednesday, it was just me, Amanda, Tan, Justin, and Alec. And we all just play some what do you meme for the rest of the night. It's a, it's a card game similar to Cards Against Humanity, but instead of like, instead of like a card that like fills in the blanks or like answers a question or something, you get a picture of a meme, like, <laughs> Memes that date back to, like, what, back in 2010 or something? Like, around the times of, like, Bad Luck Brian and stuff like that, and then, like, memes onwards to, like... I think there was some that had, like, Donald Trump in it, or, like, Barack Obama. Or Barack Obama. And I, I say Barack Obama or Barack Obama. I could have swore, too, there were some memes that had Joe Biden in it. But anyways, we played that for the rest of the nights. The What was so crazy too is that our score is that Justin won by 19 and me and Alec tied for 18. It was crazy close. And when we were there too, like they actually brought like a PS4 so that they could play some games there too. Like Alec was the one that was playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Justin was the one that was playing I think it was Shadow of Mordor it, it was a Lord of the Rings game where you like recruit orcs and make them stronger and stuff like that it was kind of an interesting game it was like um what was it Mo not Monster Hunter is it it's nothing like Pokemon um it's something where you just like get monsters and you just like make them stronger or like recruit stronger monsters. It's something like that. And then for me, like over the weekend, I was doing like the Nintendo Switch where I was playing mostly the Nintendo 64 library, including Majora's Mask, Mario Golf, uh, Paper Mario, Star Fox 64. Like I just literally just beat and played Star Fox 64. Just like in a couple hours. It's that simple. I, I even did it in like the, uh, what was it? The best route or the hardest route to get to Brain Andros. It was that, e it was that easy. Um, it's too bad that I had to cheat in Mario Golf, but like I was actually managing to like save state and do all those character matches and I kept getting like birdies. <laughs> Yeah, Mario Golf can actually get stupid hard if you don't know how to play golf. So, the Thursday, I think we started off with going to, I think it was like around 11 to noon. We went to this place called Milk and Honey. It was like a breakfast slash lunch restaurant. It was really sweet looking. It definitely had that like theme that would be in a place that's like a small town or something, but their food was amazing. And of course, like the entirety of the weekend too, I had to look out for my allergies. For some reason too, yeah, I, I seem to be very more self-aware about my allergies. I guess it's because, I guess it's because that I still have yet to get my allergy tests. And in fact, I did actually get a call from someone that talked about my allergy test during work. And 
it had it as like a no color ID. And I was like, I have no idea who this is. I might as well not answer it. And they left a voicemail and it was telling me it was the allergy thing. I was like, oh shit, maybe I should have called them. And I tried at work and it would not let me. It would not let me call that. Well, yeah, definitely. It, it would say no color ID. It would not make any sense. But still, like, I missed out on that call, and they're gonna have, or they're gonna, they're gonna now call me again in September, because I missed it. So now, well, if I actually was to call my family doctor about this, they might, <laughs> they're probably gonna, like, do it even longer than it is right now. Because I made that request in June or May. It would have been that... It would have been... May Long Weekend. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, it would have been May Long Weekend that that happened. Or the, we uh, the days after May Long Weekend because I had a sort of episode that, or yeah, I had something terrible happen and I went to go to my family doctor about it. And then I mentioned about the allergy test as well. I seem to be doing fine ever since too, like, especially my voice and everything, like, I legit, um, these uh, voice recordings are being recorded on July 19th, the weekend before, I literally just did two games in one weekend and my voice is still fresh. I'm like, wow, how did I do this much? How did I get this much energy? It really goes to show too that like doing it during the day actually helps. Instead of like doing it late at night and you feel like exhausted from the day and you're not like always so parched. But yeah, um, if I even, like, try to call him again, it's probably gonna, like, extend it even longer, so might as well, like, keep that voicemail that I have and wait until September, unfortunately. But I still hold it, or I still hold my truth that, or I still keep my word that my allergies have always been, like, animal fur and hair. Definitely peanuts and all nuts. Like, I would probably instantly die from them. <laughs> Excuse me. Mildly to eggs? That was the only thing that's changed in my life. Uh, shellfish, mostly shrimp, and bee stings. Now, it's weird because I say shellfish, and my dad has always been telling me when we went to... I think it was uh, Myrtle Beach that we went to a seafood buffet and I actually had crab for the first time and I was totally fine. Now, I, I'm still, I'm still gonna like keep popping a question to people like, is crab shellfish or not? Because <laughs> apparently I had some at that buffet and I'm, I'm Still alive to this day, I did not break into hives or anything, I'm... I don't know. I probably had like a little piece? I don't... I don't know. It was a long time ago, so I can't. But I do exactly know that we had that. At Myrtle Beach. But yeah, uh, back to the milk and honey. Uh, it was, the food was really good, like, the best I could have there was their homemade grilled cheese. And it had, like, different cheeses that I've never tried before, and they were actually so fucking good. In fact, I could open up the menu real quick as I'm talking about the rest of the stuff. Like, after lunch... It, it was mostly lunch. We went to Iceman games since, uh... Yeah, I remember the time when... 
I remember the time when Iceman games used to have a location in Toronto. And I don't know why. I guess it was like... I was. I guess it was like not to be in competition or like they weren't getting as much sales as much as A and C games was. And now I'm noticing that there is another... Um... Like there is another... like a uh, retro game store here in downtown called Game Mania. Oh yeah, and there's also the, uh, what was it? Extreme Games Interactive. Okay, there yeah, there's three locations. Okay, let me find it. Okay, Milk and Honey, Lindsay. We went to Lindsay. For breakfast and Iceman games. Let me check their menu. Okay, here it is. I had the Caesar salad. The Caesar salad was nice. Apparently, like, it's really good to have it with uh, Parmesan cheese. So, yeah, maybe I should have that with it for now on. I don't mind Parmesan cheese on my salad now. Just like um, Eastside Mario's. Um, where is it? It would say ultimate grilled cheese. Yeah, here it is. Uh, aged cheddar, mozzarella, creamy provolone, and applewood smoked bacon. And yeah, that was the that was the most like it didn't like. I think it was really good because it wasn't like cheddar. It, it had like aged cheddar, but it wasn't that kind of cheddar where it was like it would stick in your gums like caramel or something. Much like, uh, what was it? Tim Hortons grilled cheese, even though I still have it. Because it's like probably the only grilled cheese I could find uh, I can find here. But yeah, I had that with uh, Caesar salad and it was really good. Of course, I still have that habit, too, that since I eat so slow and still have like this bit of a thing where like I'm probably going to like slip up on my swallowing and choke or something, but I never had that happen yet. Um, but I never like finished it, so I, I sh well, I, I think I did have most of it, but not like the crust. I guess it's mostly is just like hard food and not like soggy food. I don't know. Still need to get that resolved on me. But yeah, it was it was really good. I highly recommend if you're in Lindsay, you should try that place out. It has like a lot of soups and sandwiches and wraps. They're really good. Um, and then after that, we went to Iceman Games and we did some. Well, Alec did most of the game shopping. In fact, um... I know we didn't want to do it, but the games that I grabbed there was, uh... Kirby and the Forgotten Lands and Mario Strikers Battle League for the Switch. I think what it was looking for... And there is one place that actually has, like, six copies of those, and ANC Games has a copy of it. Is Pocky and Rocky Reshrined for the Switch. And that is like a remaster of two of the Pocky Rock or Pocky and Rocky games for the Super Nintendo. And they finally have a physical copy of them, which I've been wanting for a long time and I'm going to have to go and grab them here in downtown. Um but yeah, those are the two games that I got. Uh I thought I was looking at some 3DS games as well. Maybe so, maybe also some like those DS games or Game Boy games, but they didn't have like a like a box or a, a box case with them. Who knows? But yeah, that's mostly what I got. And uh, 
I think that was mostly what I paid for. Or, yeah. I didn't really, like, spend much on that trip. But it, it was there. Or it was, like, up there. I'm still trying- I'm still trying to, like, recover some things after a couple months. So then, after that, I think this is going to be the end of the ep uh, end of the episode right here. But I will end it off with uh, we went to. Oh yeah, no, we went back and then played a lot of games while Alec was going to go back to downtown to pick up Naya. And I feel bad for him too because like he did a lot of driving, like they. They stayed at that cottage for like two weeks, and it was around the, that time too. On Wednesday, he picked up me and Amanda, and then he did Thursday again to pick up Naya. He, he, he's been going through like so much. He needs a break. He definitely needs a break. So yeah, this should be the end of the episode where I do World 6. Yeah. I, I still can't get over, like, if you do the the tornado and then you see his helicopter hands animation, it's like, it's, <laughs> it's like so funny to me. Hel Galactic Luigi's arms. <laughs> it's the best shit you've ever seen. He's going batshit crazy. And then after this one, we completed all of World 6. I've also been talking about too that, uh, well actually, we'll talk about it next episode. <laughs> Alright, yeah, see you guys next time.